Aloha everyone and welcome back to Aloha Jen's beauty blog. For those of you that are new here, hi! My name is Jen and I am a licensed esthetician for over 14 years. I did a poll last week on Instagram asking what videos you would like to see from me being a bonus video. And it was a makeup video and a hair favorites video. So here we are with my hair favorites. So these are all my current hair favorites that I'm going to share with you. And I think why this video came up is because everyone has seen like how long my hair is now. So my hair is pretty long now. It's past the middle of my back and it's like covering my tatas now. <laughs> so I'm thinking about growing it out a little bit longer and it did grow pretty fast this summer. Um, and I'm gonna show you the reason why. <laughs> but let's go over my favorite hair care products. So I'm gonna go over shampoos and conditioners, um, my leave-in treatments, styling products, and my favorite styling tools. So I do have a new favorite shampoo. So usually, like during the week, my daily shampoo has been the Olaplex number no. four and number no. five shampoo. I was looking for something else with, you know, that's, you know, more strengthening and, and bonding for my hair because the, I was noticing that the Olaplex uh, daily shampoo and conditioner wasn't doing anything for my hair anymore. It was like, it was almost like making it feel like it's dry. And number five conditioner does nothing for my hair. Another reason why I don't like their number four daily shampoo is because it never feels like it gets my scalp clean. I have to wash my hair every day when I use that shampoo. And it's just like, I can't stand it. It makes my scalp stinky. So I was looking for something daily to replace that. Now, I found something and I absolutely love it. And this is the K18 Peptide Prep Shampoo. So this is a pH maintenance shampoo that is gentle enough to use every day. It is pH balanced, color safe, and it has minimal ingredients. Now the scent of this product, it has a very light citrus scent of this, but however, I love the way that this cleanses my scalp and my hair. I love the way it makes my hair feel. And when I use this, it gets my scalp clean to where I can go like four days without washing my hair to where my roots do not get oily with pretty much everything else I'm gonna show you with shampoo wise besides the clarifying shampoo, my hair gets oily within day two. And this just makes my hair feel really good. When I rinse it out of my hair, it doesn't feel like straw or anything like that. Now, I love this so much, I definitely will be trying their detox shampoo when I run out of my current clarifying shampoo. But if you're on the fence of this, I highly recommend it. Um, this is going to be my new daily shampoo for everyday use. Um, I do have certain shampoos that I use, as shampoos and conditioners that I use sometimes for when I go out and I want my hair to smell really, really nice and I'll get into that. <laughs> But so the K18 um, peptide, peptide Prep Shampoo is amazing. I highly recommend it. Now, today I used the K18 Peptide Prep Shampoo because it's been several days since I washed my hair and I did a treatment on my hair, um, like a scalp treatment with oils. And so my hair was really oily and I needed to do my blonde brightening shampoo. So what I need did first, it is I used the K18 to cleanse my scalp and then I rinsed it out and then I went in with the Olaplex number no. four P, which is their purple shampoo to help blend out or to take the brassiness out of blondes, grays, even brightens um, the brassy, it brightens even brown colored hair too. So, cause this is kind of like a blue tone purple. I love this purple shampoo. This is my absolute favorite blonde brightening shampoo. And the reason being is because it works and it doesn't leave my hair feeling dry or too frizzy after like a lot of blonde shampoos do out there. So I absolutely love this. I actually used this today 
Um, and I, then I did the number eight. Uh, this is the Bond Intense Moisture Mask. So this is like one of my favorite deep conditioners. And I always use this with either the 4P or my next favorite shampoo from Olaplex, which is the number 4C. So this is a new release from Olaplex. This is their clarifying shampoo. And I love this clarifying shampoo. So with the 4P, I use this about every three weeks to brighten my blonde. Before in the past, I was using it too much. I found out that I thought I was supposed to be using this once a week. And my hairstylist said, no, you're overusing it. So she's recommended that I use it every three weeks. And so that's what I've been doing. And yeah, it is a big difference. My blonde looks so much better. So that's where we go into 4C. So I use the 4C once a week as a clarifying shampoo. And what I use this for is it's not necessarily to remove the buildup from my scalp, but it's to remove the minerals um, from the hard water that we have here um, in my hair. So there's, I get mineral buildup and what it does is it makes my hair dull and lifeless. And this Olaplex 4C has absolutely been fabulous for me. It's become my favorite clarifying shampoo. I have been using this since it came out. I use it about once a week and I absolutely love it. And I also pair it with the number eight from Olaplex when I use it. Great clarifying shampoo. Now, if you're looking for something that is a bit more clarifying, this isn't it for you because if you only wash your hair once a week, this isn't going to clarify your, your hair enough. However, what I love it for is because it doesn't make my hair feel dry, it doesn't strip my scalp, it makes my hair color look good, and it makes um, it makes it brighter. And the main thing that I love about this is it just doesn't dry out my hair or make it feel like straw afterwards like a lot of clarifying shampoos do out there on the market. So I, I have been loving this, it's been working out great. And as soon as I run out of that, I will switch over to the K18 Detox which actually has charcoal in it. So that's pretty interesting. So pretty much before um, the K18 that came into my life, I was using the Olaplex number four daily shampoo and their number five conditioner. And so I stopped using that once this came in and I have been doing the actual K18 treatment. When I first got it, I used the shampoo and then I did the leave-in treatment. I did a total of four treatments of the K18 leave-on treatment. This is another favorite. Works great with the shampoo. It's like hair magic. So if you're going to do the K18 treatment, I highly recommend picking up the peptide prep and doing it together because it is so, so good. <laughs> so now for special occasions, um, I really like to use Orbe and the reason being is because I just love the way my hair looks, it smells, it feels. I love the scent of Orbe products. They are my absolute favorite styling products and they are one of my favorite hair care lines. Now I have pretty much tried everything shampoo and conditioner wise through Orbe. Now when I wear my hair curly, um, I usually will go go for the Olaplex, but if it's a special occasion where I want my hair to smell good and really look good, I go in for the shampoo for moisture and control and the intense conditioner for moisture and control. This is my absolute favorite shampoo and conditioner to shampoo my hair with for when I wear it curly. I usually use this on the weekends. And that's another thing is I like to rotate my um, products out just like this. So I love the shampoo for when I wear my hair curly. I do not like it for when I wear it smooth because I notice when I use this, when I wear it smooth, it allows the moisture in my, I don't get as good of a lasting smoothness of my hair. So I love this combination. I love the scent. It's very moisturizing. It's perfect for my curly hair. And the reason why curly hair needs more moisture in the hair is because when you wear it natural and it's not smooth, the oils from your scalp don't reach down to the end because you have a wave. And that's why curly hair needs more moisture. And that's why you always see these moisturizing products for curly hair. 
Now, for when I straighten my hair or smooth it out for a special occasion on the weekend and I really want it to look good and smell good, I reach for the Hair Alchemy. This is the Resilience um, Shampoo and Conditioner for Orbe. I love this and I often like to switch out from this um, from my Olaplex. So I'll stop using Olaplex and then I'll start using this for a week or two together and then I'll go back and then I'll use Olaplex. Like I said, I like to rotate them out. So this one, I can use it to wear my hair curly and I can also use it for when I smooth my hair out. So this is to help strengthen and repair damaged hair. Now they have the Gold Lust line, uh, which that does the same thing, but they say that if your hair is chemically treated, go for Gold Lust. If your hair isn't chem chemically treated, go for this line. However, I love the way that this line works better than the Gold Lust. Gold Lust does absolutely nothing for my hair. It just smells good. But I love these two shampoo and conditioners from Oribe. I think they're amazing and they've done wonderful things for my hair. Now, I have to give you a tip. A lot of these products that I'm talking about, Olaplex and Oribe, are concentrated. And if your hair isn't soaked thoroughly before you apply the shampoo, you're not going to get good results. So you want to make sure that you thoroughly wet your hair, make sure it's good and wet, work in the shampoo and conditioner, add some water, work it in, and then make sure you rinse it out really well. Because even though sometimes they feel like they're not rinsed out, or they're rinsed out, they may not be because they are concentrated, okay? So if you're noticing that your hair, your scalp is looking a little oily, it's a good thing, it's probably a good chance that you're not using enough water before you apply the shampoo and you're not mix, you're not sudsing it up or lathering it up good enough and rinsing it out completely. Now for my shampoo and conditioners, that is it. Now for leave-in treatments or hair mask, as I mentioned, I love the Olaplex number eight. This is the Bond Intense Moisturizing Mask. So this moisturizes, it's smooth, and it adds body and shine. It's for all hair types. I absolutely love this. And when I use this is with my um, number four and my, uh, my number four C and my number four P, which is the clarifying shampoo and the purple shampoo. I also like to use this as a daily conditioner for when I wear my hair curly. <laughs> Gosh, I know it sounds confusing. So for my hair, this works as a daily conditioner using the Olaplex line versus the number five. However, I love to use it as a deep moisture mask as well. I actually used it in my hair today. Actually, everything that I used in my hair today is Olaplex, except for my first shampoo, which is the K18. Now, what I'm gonna struggle with is I am over with the K18 um, leave-in treatment. So I gotta find a daily conditioner to use with this. I wish that they would come out with a daily hair care line, like a daily conditioner, styling products, I would be all over it. So I'm thinking I might try my number eight as my daily conditioner with this and we will see. I'm trying my hardest not to wash my hair every day. I'm trying to go every other day, but it's really hard because I work out and it gets so sweaty and like it, even dry shampoo just doesn't work enough for me because I feel self-conscious. It's just me. I am, I've always washed my hair every day, but I've noticed since my hair has gotten longer, it washing my hair every day is just not cutting it. I've looked into co-washes. I was using one, but they don't clean my scalp and it just feels yucky to me. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. So I have a couple of leave-in treatments here I wanna talk about. So two of them are for when I wear my hair curly. And then the other one is that I have a mask and an oil. So as I mentioned, I love the K18. This is the leave-in molecular hair mask. I absolutely love this. Now I did a test. So I've been using the Olaplex number zero, which is the clear spray treatment that you spray in your hair and leave in for 10 minutes before you do the number three. Now with the Olaplex number zero, number three, I only notice that it does something for my hair like after I get it colored, but after that, I really don't see any difference in my hair when I use those. 
So I'm stopping those and I've reached for my K18. If I do one of these treatments every other week um, in my hair, it feels amazing. If when I first get my hair colored, I like to do this treatment a week after and I'll do it four days in a row. And if I feel like my hair is getting a little dry or damaged from like over styling it or over washing it, I'll do four of these treatments in a row. I love this. It's worth the hype. I highly recommend you try it. I always buy the small ones because sometimes like when I see that big one, it's $75 for 1.5 ounces. And this is a half an ounce and it's still $30. I don't know. I'm, I'm probably wasting money. I'm probably going to buy that big one. <laughs> so that is a favorite leave-in treatment for when I feel like my hair is damaged. That is my go-to. Now, um, about one or two times a week, I do use this Moroccan oil. This is um, the Moroccan treatment. So this says it's for all hair types. This one is the thicker one. So they have two formulas. They have the light and they have the original. I have the original here. Um, this is actually a new little bottle that I picked up. These last me forever because they don't need too much. So with my hair, I have a lot of it. It needs a lot of moisture and it's sort of like medium. I wouldn't say it's thick. This oil works so, so good. I had another oil that was the same consistency of this. It was by Orbe. It did absolutely nothing for my hair. Now I put this in mainly on the ends of my hair and I sleep with it overnight. And this really puts a lot of moisture into my hair to where it doesn't feel dry. And especially here where I live, it's been really dry the last couple weeks. We had this major heat wave and it just really sucked the life out of my hair. So I did this in my hair for two overnight treatments, skipping a day, two days in between. And it totally just brought that moisture back into my hair and made it feel so, so good. Oh, and by the way, I wanna tell you this. I had this in my hair, which is a very thick consistency. If I use the Olaplex Daily Shampoo, this, it will not remove this out of my hair. The K18 did it beautifully and I didn't even have to um, rinse and repeat. So that's how good that shampoo works. I just love it. <laughs> and it didn't strip my hair. So this is my go-to oil for my hair for when I'm feeling it's dry. Absolutely love it. So it's the Moroccan oil. I don't like the smell, but however, this is the only one that I found that gives my hair some really nice moisture and really doesn't make me feel like I wasted my time by putting oil in my hair. Another um, oil that I love to use in my hair is just avocado oil. I like to put it in my scalp and all over my hair and leave it in as an overnight treatment that really moisturizes the scalp, brings some nutrients in the scalp, and also moisturizes and brings nutrients into the hair. I absolutely love it, and it's a great alternative. All right, so for um, leave-in treatments, um, so... I have this priming lotion leave-in conditioner. So I use this when I use the Aura Bay Moisture and Control Shampoo and Conditioner for when I'm wearing my hair curly. I love this, it's the perfect consistency. It's a little bit on the thicker side and I absolutely love it. it gives me really beautiful curls. So there's that. Now. Um, I have two heat protectants here that I like to use when I am um, using Oribe and I'm going to smooth out my hair. If I feel like my hair needs a little bit more um, like, you know, conditioning treatment, I go for the Oribe Hair Alchemy Fortifying Treatment Serum. So this has heat protectant in it up to 450 degrees. It's a little bit heavier than a spray. But I love to use this when I'm going to smooth out my hair when I'm using my Oribe products. So this goes in my hair right after I take it out of the towel as a leave-in treatment conditioner. Um, I also like to use this in my hair for when it, I wear it curly as well. It gives it, it doesn't, it gives it a nice natural wave. There's not a lot of hold in it, but sometimes I just go with it. <laughs> now, I also bounce back and forth for this Oribe Invincible Defense Universal Protection Spray. So this is a detangler. Sometimes I feel like I want a spray. So mainly what I use this for is a heat protectant before I smooth out my hair. 
and it works beautifully. This is actually my number one go-to when I'm using my Oribe products. So there's that. Now, my number one favorite hair um, smoothing treatment is the Oribe Straight Away uh, Smoothing Blowout Cream. So this is what I use pretty much every time I smooth out my hair um, on the weekends because I use my Orbe because it smells so good. And I love it with the T3 Edge. Now when you, I'll go over that, but so this has been like a ride or die for me for like, I think three years and I absolutely love it. I always have a backup of it and I just, I love it. It's my favorite smoothing cream. For today, <laughs> um, what I used, and I love these for daily, um, daily treatments. I love these to use in my hair for when I wear it curly, and I love these for when I smooth it out. So when I smooth out my hair, and I'm using, or I do an Olaplex treatment, I like to go in with my Olaplex styling products. So when I smooth out my hair, I use the number nine and this is their Bond Protecting Nourishing Hair Serum. And the reason why I use this is because it has antioxidants in it, but within the Olaplex styling products, it's the only other product that has heat protectant. The other one is the nourishing oil or the bonding oil, which you don't use enough of this to really make a difference with the heat protectant. So I go in with this first, like I did today in my towel dried hair. And then I like to cocktail number six. This is the Bond Smoother and the Bond Smoothing Oil. I take a cocktail of this and I distribute it on top of this and brush everything into my hair. So when I smooth out my hair with the Olaplex products, that's how I um, use them. If I'm just going to use these to wear my hair curly or if I'm going to use Olaplex to when I wear my hair curly, I just cocktail these two together and apply it to my hair because I don't use much heat. So these are my daily styling um, products. I love it, it's easy, gives me great curls. When I wear my hair curly, I love cream products. It just seems to work better with my hair and keep the moisture and give me really beautiful curls. So that's it for my styling products. I do have one more here actually which it's the Gold Lust Dry Shampoo. So the Gold Lust Dry Shampoo by Orbe is my absolute favorite. Why I love it is it doesn't leave a white cast. It doesn't make my hair feel gritty or feel like it's too tough to put a comb through. It gives me the perfect amount of volume. It soaks up all the oil and there's no cloud anywhere and it just smells absolutely amazing. I just I'm obsessed with Oribe scent <laughs> and all these products that I have showed you here today with Oribe are my absolute favorite, okay? They're my favorites. I've tried and tested quite a few and I've always rebought these ones for, the hair alchemy is new, but the styling products, the moisture intense um, conditioner, I've been using those for like the last three years now, so. Yeah, and like with the straight away, I have been using that actually for longer. I think I've been using that for over four years now. All right, so let's go into hair tools. So my number one tool that is responsible for all this hair growth and for keeping my scalp healthy, and I'm getting some new hair growth here in my areas where I was thinning. It's really hard for you guys to see because it's gray and it's light and it's really like fine but that is the Ladora Duo. So this is the hair and scalp device. So this has heat therapy, microcurrent, red LED light therapy, and um, sonic massage, and you have these pods. So I alternate between the Awaken pod and the Balance pod. Now, it says to use these daily, and I don't use these pods daily because they are oil-based and they make my scalp oily. So what I do is on the night before I wash my hair, I pop in a pod and I use this in my scalp and my hair for about five minutes. If I'm not going to wash my hair, I pop out the pod and I just use the brush. I do have this hair serum that I was testing out. It's called Array, it's for gray hair. 
and I'll pop that in here and I'll use it throughout my hair because it doesn't make my hair oily. Now, they just released a new pod. I was hoping it was going to be here for this video. It's arriving today. It's called Boost. It is a water-based pod that helps with thinning and it helps with hair regrowth and something else I can't remember. So they sent it to me and I'm going to be testing it out. I'm so excited because this is actually what I was waiting for. I was waiting for one that was water-based. That's going to help, you know, regenerate the hair follicle and help my hair grow and keep my scalp healthy. I mean, these are great and they have been working. It's just that they're oil-based and, you know, they say that this works better on clean hair. I just can't use this every day on my hair. And yeah, so, but the device does work without the pod. I just pop it out and you can turn it on. You have three levels. You have this um, level one, which is sort of like a really, it's like a gentle mode. And then you have the medium mode. I forgot the names of it. And then you have the third mode, which is boost. And each level has a different level of the microcurrent and sonic massage. I use all three levels just depending, but I love this device because not only is it helping regenerate my hair follicles and helping with hair growth, but it's so soothing and relaxing and I love to use it at night. It's just a really favorite device. I absolutely love it. And if you are experiencing hair loss or thinning, I would recommend that you give this a shot before you reach out and go spend, you know, $500, $2,500 on one of those LED lights. Try this first and use it daily and get their new pod, which is called the Boost. And I will have a review on that for you soon. Now, as far as hair styling goes, I really only reach for two tools these days. Um, number one is my blow dryer. So I recently broke up with my Dyson uh, Supersonic blow dryer and I picked up the T3 Air Lux. I have to tell you, I'm slightly obsessed with T3 hair products. As you know, <laughs> pretty much all of my styling products now are T3. And the reason why I switched from um, the Dyson to the T3 is that the Dyson was drying out my hair. And the T3 has that the ion technology which, help, which helps your hair retain moisture and that's what I was looking for and it does. Ever since I switched out to this hair dryer versus my Dyson, my hair is a lot healthier. It dries faster. It looks better. It looks shinier and it works great on Misha too. So when you pick up the Airlux um, dryer, it just it comes with this um, smoothing nozzle here. And I had to purchase the diffuser separately. So when I wear my hair natural curly, I will sometimes pop on the diffuser, especially if I'm going to work. I, I wear my hair natural when I go to work because I don't have time to smooth it out in the morning. So I'll pop this on. And what I like to do is I like to use um, low... Uh, low airflow and I use medium heat. They say high heat, low airflow, but for me, I like low airflow with medium heat and it works out great. And how I diffuse my curls is I flip my head over and then I just diffuse it with this and that way I get, you know, really good volume that lasts all day and I'm able to get certain, like the, the back part of my hair, the front of my hair, it just works out that way for me. Um, so that's how I, I flip it over and do it, or that's how I, um, that's how I style my hair when I wear it curly. Sorry, I'm kind of, um, rambling here. I haven't had much sleep, um, for the last couple of days. I haven't been feeling good actually. Um, it's allergy season and it's really kicking up. All right. So my last hair favorite here, which is my go-to for smoothing out my hair. I used it today and I just love this tool so much, guys. I'm just telling you, I have a Dyson Corral flat iron that I haven't used in like months. I have the Dyson Airwrap, which I haven't used in like forever. I think the last time I used that was maybe back in December because I got the T3 Airbrush duo, which I still love that, but I haven't been using it because it takes me a long time. So when I want that blowout look, I will go for the airbrush. 
duo, but when I want my hair smooth with some body, like a little bit straighter, but today it looks like I blew it out. I go for the T3 edge. I absolutely love this. I love it more so than my flat iron and I love it way more than my T3 airbrush duo. And the reason being is because I can smooth out my hair super, super quick. I can get into the root and I have no waves in the back of my hair where, you know, I can't, where it's hard for me to reach. When I use the airbrush duo, I find it hard sometimes to get some of the waves out in the, in the middle of my hair. And the reason I think is because I need more tension on that. And when I use that, I use um, a different smoothing out cream. I use the Aura Bay um, Royal, not Royal, but it's the transformated um, blowout cream in the Gold Lust line. I love that for the Airbrush Duo. I do not like it for the T3 Edge because it leaves a residue. When I use the T3 Edge, I'll either go for my Olaplex number nine all over and then I'll cocktail number six, the smoothing cream and the seven oil like I did today. That's what I used in my hair today and I use this. And when I'm using my Orbe products, I use my straight away. You want to use products in here that will give your hair a good slip through this because if not, your hair will get knotted and catch through this. Also, you want to use products that don't leave a residue behind like the transformative um, blowout cream from Orbe. I should have brought it in here. That will leave a residue on this and it will also be really hard for you to get this brush through the hair. So I do have a demo on this, but I absolutely love this. Now, I love this because I get a great style in a short amount of time. My hair looks so good. I think it looks fabulous. <laughs> also, like if I'm going out after work and I wore my hair natural, I can go and grab this and I can smooth it out really quick with no issues. So that's the T3 Edge, my absolute favorite styling product. It's number one. Um, this is like the best find in 2022 for me. And I absolutely love it. And I highly recommend that you check it out. There are three settings for it. I use setting two to smooth out my hair. It is kind of a little bit on the heavy side, but this tool is absolutely freaking amazing. And if you've tried it, let me know down below in the description box on how much you like it. All right, everyone, so that is it for this video. These are my hair favorites. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, I may try a few more hair products here. I have a few on my list, and I may do like the end of the year closeout of which are my absolute favorite hair products of 2022. Let me know what you think about that. Also, I was thinking about doing a makeup collection video. Um, if you guys want me to go through my makeup collection to see what's currently hanging out, I can do that. So let me know what you think. And I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day or evening. And I will see you in the next one. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Sending you all so much love and light. And hey, we made it straight through. Yay! <laughs> see you in the next one, guys. Hey, no. Take a step outside and seize the day